guys remember in the last video when I told you that you didn't even have to aim in this Pixie Reaper of Bones build? Well, in this one, you don't even have to look at your enemy. In fact, you'll do more damage if you just run right past them. This build is all about speed, momentum, and setting yourself on fire. We're going to be on our Bone Carver, which is Graveborn and Stabomancer using Reaper Bones as our action skill and the Pixies as well because we're moving too fast to really do much shooting ourselves. However, if you wanted to make this into a like shotgun build or a melee type of build, you probably could. I want to show you guys this cool interaction and what we're really doing with this class mod and this action skill paired together because that's what really makes this build cool. So let's take a look at the class item here first. I know I'm kind of going out of order, but we're going to get there. This is the Swashbuckler's Selective Amnesia of the Sharpened Fang. Basically, you want to look for the Selective Amnesia. This is one that most of us just discard. We sell it to the vendor. We leave it on the bunny floor. We don't take it, right? Because it says after taking on status effect damage, you apply a fire status effect to yourself, increasing movement speed, and you leave a fire trail for three seconds. While this effect is active, damage dealt is increased by movement speed. So we're actually using this class mod and we've got a Stabo Berserker one here, but I think it's still good because the Stabomancer points are really great, but we'll talk about that in the gear section, the skill tree. But what's so awesome about this is that once you proc Reaper of Bones, let me show you guys what happens. We instantly get set on fire and there's our, our fire dot that we're getting for three seconds, but it's constant, so we always have it. So it doesn't last for three seconds like the class mod says, it lasts for the duration of our action skill. And because we're doing so much dark magic damage while we're in our action skill, it's gonna help keep our health up and keep that action skill going. And then we're utilizing Stabomancer's movement speed and movement damage perks in order to kind of balance that out along with Buffmeister giving us movement speed. Everything is really synergizing well in this build. So let's first go over the skills. I'm gonna take my class item off so you guys can see the flat skills. We've got Graveborn Stabomancer, of course. Our action skill is Reaper of Bones. We're gonna be going into the basic build for Graveborn all down the right side there into uh, Faithful Thrall's Harvest and Dark Hydra. Honestly, it's not that much of a damage boost because we only have the Demi Lich and our Dark Hydra's proc. Sometimes this is not really a companion build at all, but we are going to be taking Dark Pact. If you do get a Graveborn Stabomancer class mod with uh, Graveborn on the top there, you want to look for as much Dark Pact as possible. We don't have one of those Selective Amnesia class mods with this on it so i can't test it out for you guys but i think the one that we have that puts points into swift death and haste is also really good just for the movement speed and damage while we're going faster we put one point into sanguine sacrament however you could move this to dread covenant if you feel like you are going down due to uh, your health being so low when you get out of your action skill you could actually put a point into here it will save you from ending your action skill early your uh, lich will die so you're going to get a little bit of a drop in damage that nine percent from our faithful thralls and then of course going all the way down to the Greyborn capstone this is going to help us keep all of our kill skills up and going and then over on stabomancer we did put five into arsenal however you could move this over to potent poisons if you wanted to especially if uh, you have a buff meister that is maybe fire or dark magic or something that has a longer tick you could go into this however most enemies we're dying before they're taking a lot of the damage over time. So I don't know if it's entirely worth it. I tested both. I didn't really see much of a difference. So it's up to you whether you put five here or five in arsenal, or maybe you want to do a little bit of both. However, you do want to max out haste and swift death for the fast movement speed and the damage for faster movement speed. And then we're going three out of three for exploit their weakness. We always want to be putting dots on the enemies. So we always want to get that damage increase. And all of those points allow us to go down here for elusive this is going to allow us to shoot and sprint at the same time it's also going to allow us to evade incoming damage so we get 10 percent while we're just walking 
of a chance to evade. So it's just more damage resistance for us and we're going to be able to shoot and throw out our pixies while we're sprinting around. For the hero stats, you can really play around a lot, but you're going to want to put some into crit chance and damage. You're also probably going to want to put some into spell cooldown and skill cooldown. I actually maxed out the skill cooldown because Reaper of Bones is on a 50 second cooldown. If you have some action skill cooldown passives on your gear, you may be able to get away with not putting as much into your hero stats. And if you're using a third um, necklace, you could get away with putting less into skill cooldown, but you just kind of have to play around with it and see what feels best to you because it is really a game of cycling your abilities on this build. Next up, let's take a look at the gear. There are a lot of alternatives that you could run here. This gear is far from perfect. So keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out what to run for this build. I'm going to mention as much as I can, and then I'm going to put some gameplay in the background at the end of the video if you want to see the gameplay loop. First up, let's take a look at the Fear Not Pixie pistol. This is going to be our main weapon that we're going to have out pretty much all the time. Ideally, you want to get this Greyborn enchant on it. However, you could also get an action skill active or an elemental damage, some kind of dark magic on spell cast, something like that works too. Just make sure you have a fear knot that has a pixie. You can grab these from chaos chambers, vendors, wherever. Just keep your eyes peeled because it is a purple weapon. Onto the melee, we're using the goblin pickaxe. This is going to help us get our skill cooldown movement speed, and spell cooldown. So it's a win, 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 win for everything. If you are worried about your cooldown, you can kind of weave in a couple of melees here and there if you want. It's going to give you an increase to movement speed, which means an increase in damage, and it's going to give you your cooldown rate. Other options could be a spell blade if you want to do more melee, but because we're moving so fast, we don't really have time to kind of get locked into that melee animation. All right, next up for our rings, we are running the magic fingertip and the silicone ring, but you probably want to look for mood rings, which is going to increase the effects by 100% when your shield isn't full. Our shield is almost never full, so that's probably the way to go. However, this has the best passive, so you want to look for passives and that top number. So we've got spell damage on both, and then we've got spell critical hit chance and damage and spell critical hit chance. This is going to affect your pixies. Now over to the shield we've got a cursed wit. This one has when health is below 50%, regen 5% of your max health a second and gain 30% damage dealt. This helps to keep us in that reaper of bones. I talked about this in my last video, but it's also going to give us damage obviously when we deplete our shield, which that portion of it normally helps more for bosses and stuff that's going to hit us really hard. It's going to help us do a lot more damage to those guys. So hopefully we can get out of danger. Other options for shields for this build, the Ancient Deity. If you can get this one with 10% dark magic damage, that's going to be up at all times. So that's a way to get a little more damage. It's not going to be your 100% and your 30% from the enchant. However, you could put this enchant on this shield and get a little more damage out that way. And then of course, the always wonderful Body Rune. This is going to add fire damage to your shots. It also is going to give you a lot of max health. So for mobbing, the Body Rune could be a great option, especially if you took potent poisons in your skill tree because those fire dots are going to be doing more status effect damage that way as well. Moving on to the necklace, you're going to want to look for the urge or frenzied wrath. The urge is going to give you more of that cooldown. So you're going to get action skill cooldown. You're also going to get spell damage by 30%. I believe this works with your pixies. The second option is frenzied wrath. This is going to give you companion damage, which works for your pixies and for your demi -lich. This can get up to 100 times companion damage. So this is a great mobbing weapon. Obviously, if you're in a boss fight, it's not going to proc up that high, but go with whatever you have that has the best perks. Another option is if you have a purple or something that has really great stats like this volatile one that I got. It doesn't have that extra perk. However, it has all damage, action skill cooldown rate, which is super clutch for this build, and Greyborn power. You really want to look for Greyborn power because that's going to help you with your dark magic damage while you're in Reaper of Bones. Onto our spell, we're using the Buffmeister. You want to have a Zap Pew Buffmeister. We have on action skill start increase damage dealt for 20% for 20 seconds. As you can see on this build, I think the only action skill active enchant we have is on the melee weapon. So if they do nerf that next week, 
we should be good. However, we are rocking a Reaper of Bones build, which has a duration to its action skill. So you're still going to get a lot of use out of having action skill active enchantments. And then finally, with our class item, we're going with the Swashbucklers Selective Amnesia. This is the one where you're taking the status effect damage, yada yada. We've got a Stablemancer Berserker one here, even though we're not playing Berserker. However, I think getting points into Haste and Swift Death is the best way to go here. So if you can get those particular skills, definitely go for that. If you can't, I would say the Greyborn Stabo one wouldn't be bad either if you could get more points into Dark Pact and that's going to give you some more dark magic damage. That class mod also comes with Contagion, so that could be a good one to test out as well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the build. I'm going to leave the gameplay running in the background, but I hope you enjoyed it. It is a lot of fun. It's all about speed and momentum, running around, sliding, popping those pixies, and it's really fun in boss fights as well. In the raid bosses, it's really nice to have that movement speed to dodge a lot of their attacks. Even just the regular bosses in the chaos chamber, it's great for. There are a couple things that it does struggle with. Anything that the pixies won't target, you may have to pull out another gun, like Bernadette and the hearts, the specters, stuff like that that the pixies won't target, like I mentioned in my last video. However, we did find that if you actually ping the enemy, a lot of times that will help the pixie. It doesn't help on the elite crystals in the chaos rooms, but it will help on some of the other enemies like Bernadette in uh, the Dragon Lord fight. So try that out and let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions or any requests for some future builds or what you want to see here on the channel, definitely leave that down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.